What makes South Lake, Texas the best city in the U.S.? Today on More Than Home, we are going to talk about that with a longtime resident who just so happens to also be the mayor. Our guest today is Mayor Laura Hill. She is the first female mayor of South Lake, and she was elected to two terms. Mayor Laura Hill. That's right. Thank, thank you, you so much for thank being you. on. Thank yeah, you for thank having you so much. Us. And thanks for the nice comments and right. the opening about South Lake. <laughs> love to hear that. <laughs> we love South Lake too. Yes. So it's going to be an easy one. Yes. I always like to start these with kind of like getting to know you. Mm -hmm. And I want to know how you got to South Lake and then how you got into South Lake politics. Great. What's well, I got, I, I found my way to South Lake because my mom and dad moved there in the 80s and my father started a company because of course, what better place to do uh -huh. business than mm -hmm. in the Metroplex. And my mom and dad settled in South Lake. And after being in business for about five years, um, I'm the oldest child of three and dad needed help with the family business and uh -huh. he guilted me <laughs> 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 because I was the oldest and said, I need you to come to Texas. And I said, Oh no, <laughs> we were living in Virginia. It's about, we, we packed up the family mm -hmm. and we moved to South Lake yeah. and I just loved it. You know, it was mm -hmm. the first time we ever built a house. Um, yeah. It's a house we still live in 24 uh -huh. years later. Oh. Um, we were there with little babies with one on the way mm -hmm. and just fell in love with the town and everything that yep. it offered and that sense of family, the mm -hmm. sense of community. Yeah. And so as we got a little more settled and knew we were gonna be living there for a long time, yeah. I started getting the political bug. I, I'd had it for years, you uh -huh. know, in college, and I'd been a military wife. We'd moved around a lot, so I never really was anywhere where I could get that involved. Yeah. And it's easy to get involved in South Lake. Right? Oh, yeah. So I thought, well, I'll give it a try. I never thought I would run for office, I'll be honest. Uh -huh. it was, I was always helping with campaigns or handing out brochures yeah. or sending out emails. Mm -hmm. And then one day the mayor uh, came to me and said, you need to step up and run for council back in 2004. Wow. I did it. Uh -huh. I was scared to lose. I was more scared of <laughs> losing the election than right. I was. <laughs> yeah. But it all, it all worked out and here we are. Wow. Know. You know, how many years later? Yeah. And, well, and one of the things that makes South Lake so cool is that it is, it's the small town, but it's, I mean, you know everyone, but also mm -hmm. you're right in the heart of DFW. Right. And it's, I mean, such a successful town. That, you know, yeah. It's known for their crazy big houses and all of yeah. that. Um, but so I'm an Aggie. And one of the things we say at Texas A&M is from the outside looking in, you can't understand it. From the inside looking out, you can't explain it. And I feel like that's oh. true of South Lake too. Um, because we get a lot of people as realtors that kind of say, hey, what's cool about South Lake? And we're trying to explain it to them, but until you're there, you don't really yeah. get what that vibe is that makes it different. So kind of what has set it apart in your mind as something that's you know just so, so unique about it? Yeah. Well, definitely strategic planning. So mm -hmm. one of the things that makes South Lake so unique is there was always a plan. Mm -hmm. And councils way before me, mayors way before me, worked with staff to plan out what they wanted the city to look like. Right now we're looking at 2035. Mm -hmm. So we know what we are, we know what we want to be. And so how do we develop right. and maintain that vision? And what it ended up being was a lot of great neighborhoods. And in those neighborhoods, we had parks, we mm -hmm. had sidewalks, we had lots of open spaces so that it brought this real sense of family and getting to know your neighbors yeah. and being part of even a smaller community within a larger community. Mm -hmm. And then you add to that South Lake Town Square. South oh. Lake Town Square changed yes. everything for South Lake. And that, it's gosh, 20 years, a little over 20 years old now. Oh, wow. right. And that brought the community together because, of course, you have your city hall there, you have mm -hmm. your library, mm -hmm. you have incredible outdoor shopping, you have seven parks mixed in with mm -hmm. the shopping. And that's where we hold all of our festivals. That's where yes. we ha we crown the homecoming queen. The council walks oh, in the no. homecoming parade. Right. That's yeah. where Santa lights up yes. the tree and lights up. Do Santa's we have a couple workshop. of those photos yeah. that we can look at? Pull up some of those. Uh... Oh gosh, uh, yeah. Now this is, and this is another festival. This is Diwali uh -huh. and we celebrate that every year with, um, 
our community and music and the children yes. dancing and the that's food. That's so cool. And, and you see, so that park is actually right in front of Town Hall mm -hmm. and that's a city park. And so we open that up for Art in the Square, yeah. Oktoberfest. That. Is that Oktoberfest? Yeah, oh, this is Art in the Square. Art in so, the Square. And you have artists from all over the country that so come cool. to sell their art. Yeah. And, and then, that's like, and your office is right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So looking all, <laughs> right up like, on the balcony. There's three Hall. windows right there, yep. <laughs> I do have the best real yeah. estate oh, in Soundwave. <laughs> It's right. such a good view. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, and then, the, okay, that's our July 3rd yeah. Stars and Stripes yeah. event. And that's where we gather. That gives us an incredible sense of community that's just hard to replicate anywhere yeah. else. And it's such a family-centric community yes. that people are mixing with their children's friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. The kids are seeing each other. And yes. people are throwing out blankets and bringing picnics. Yeah. And I think it really adds not only charm because it's an absolutely gorgeous. Oh, here yeah. we are. This was oh, the, oh, the Emerald that. Bells marching. <laughs> um, this, yeah. Just there's just parades, so right? many Through town special, square. exactly. Yeah. So many special times when our um, athletes uh, win state championships, everyone gathers here yeah. in the yeah. square. So it's really the place to it celebrate is. together. Yeah. Right. And I think, um, you know, one of the things we've talked about is being dragons, right? The whole yes, community. I wanted you to talk about Yeah, this. the whole yeah. community. We're all dragons, right? Yeah. We all got the green bling. Uh -huh. and, uh, I wore my green dress <laughs> just for you today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, it's so important because no matter what age your child is, whether they're in school or not in school, mm -hmm. they still have that whole dragon yes. behind them and they're all yeah. part of the same team. Right? Yes. Yeah. Part of the, so, even the parents. Yes. So in South Lake, when you come in, every mascot from kindergarten to you graduating in high school, you the mascot is a dragon, and we all wear green. It's all like the on same game logo. day Fridays, yeah. the whole town is in green, and that's. I think that kind of wraps into that Aggie thing he was yeah. talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but they even have like um, alumni, like dragon alumni. Oh, absolutely. It's like a thing. That, absolutely. And like, and I'm buying swag that I'm going to wear for years right. because all my babies are always going to be dragons. It's well, just I always so laugh cool. and say when I'm done being mayor of South Lake. Like I'm going to have to go work for a corporation, but green is their yeah. color. Yeah, because <laughs> my closet right. is yeah. green. It's like a green <laughs> section. It's green. Green shoes, green yes, pants, everything's green. But you know, so it fun. goes back to that sense of community, right? Yes. Because one of the things that makes a community special are ties, you know, mm -hmm. whether it's with the businesses, mm -hmm. whether it's with your neighbors, yeah. whether it's with the schools. Yeah. It's um, the more that you have in common, the more that you share together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. really helps build that sense of community. It was funny driving to work this morning on Highway 114 and looking off, I was thinking to myself, it's really, South Lake is a hidden gem because when you drive on 114, you see the beautiful corporate campuses, mm -hmm. right. gorgeous hotels, but you have no idea that just behind uh -huh. that are these wonderful One neighborhoods, right? Either way you go. Is, yeah. yeah, but it's all hidden uh -huh. when you drive down yeah. 114. Yes. Even as even as realtors, I don't feel like we really knew South Lake until mm -hmm. we got over there because it is. It's kind of like this hidden beauty, like just in the middle of DFW, and right. it's like perfectly located in the lakes and the parks, the amount yeah, of parks, parks and right. trails, right. like we and love we it. We have over twelve hundred acres of parkland. And because yeah. we're right on Lake Grapevine, which a lot of people don't realize, we uh -huh. have a lot of core of Army Engineer land mm -hmm. yes. that we're able to utilize. So we have equestrian trails, natural trails for walking. We have the Bob Jones Nature Center, mm -hmm. which is fabulous for the little yep. ones. They do little special preschools, schools, get the children fun. out, get fresh air. And you know, you you were mentioning to me about moving to South Lake during COVID, mm -hmm. and you you haven't even had the chance to see what it's really like because mm -hmm. so many right. of these festivals that yeah. we looked at weren't allowed to happen this last year, yes. mm -hmm. but they've been happening for decades. Yeah. So we will get right back to them yes. as soon as we can gather yeah. again. Yeah. And, and I'll say even the school districts have done such a or school district has done just such a phenomenal job of welcome, welcoming us without even knowing our names because we get the, you know, an email on the daily and, and all of mm -hmm. that, just letting us know everything that's going on. So mm -hmm. we get like our kids, you know, jump in the truck and we're asking them questions about their day. And they're like, how did you know that? Oh. How did you know that I did that? You know, and so it's like, oh, well, yeah. no, I'm in constant communication yeah. with your school, yeah, even yeah. though we haven't been able to meet face to face a lot. Uh -huh. But yeah, I love the connection that we've already felt without mm -hmm. even getting to experience some of these festivals yeah. and parades and everything. So the communication yeah. level 
is of South Lake as a city is, I feel like, just yeah, both the school part. district and the city at our South Lake DPS mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. an incredible yes. job of really communicating with the citizens where they're at, mm -hmm. going to where they are, and to the uh -huh. to your point, the dragon e blast. I still get that, and yeah. I haven't had a child in school for five years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I feel like you're in the know. <laughs> yeah, so I have to stay in the know. And you are you are so great at it on social media and everything. Like I, it's so you guys should follow her on Instagram because her social media is so entertaining and so yeah. fun and so real. I feel like I know you just through that. Yeah. And I heard I heard that you sometimes get up to like 20 personal messages a day and you intentionally answer them all. Yes. And I will say, thank heavens, I came to Texas to work for the family business because I would have been <laughs> fired if I had worked for anyone else besides my father. Yeah. But yeah, so I, I I like to help people. You know, yesterday I had a woman uh, message me and her 80-year-old father, who's a veteran, was trying to find um, his DD214 number yes. and didn't know how to find it, was frustrated because he didn't understand technology. And we will, were able to make a couple of phone calls and help her dad just because oh, she reached wow. out in a that's message so cool. to me and yeah. we were able to put her in touch with the right people and that's really that's what it's so about great. it's answering mm -hmm. the small questions and putting people in contact with yeah. someone who can help them mm -hmm. right and um, you know social media is so important now to communicate and to your point you yeah. really need to be real and let people mm -hmm. know who you are they're not always happy with you sure but it's they they know where to go get information and they yeah. know you're going to be straight with them and they so. trust you i think because it feels real yeah whether they agree with me or not right. i think they they know There's that what trust. you see is what mm -hmm. you get and um yeah right I let's talk about the history Okay. Yeah. Which we just found out some of this yesterday with meeting with you, but like there's so much cool history in South Lake that I don't think a lot of people know about. So can oh, you speak absolutely. to that a little bit? Yeah. Well, we'll start with our biggest park. So our largest park is Bob Jones. That's mm -hmm. where our nature uh -huh. center is. And Bob Jones was a, a black free man. So mm -hmm. he, was, he came to South Lake yeah. and he put down roots with his wife, large family. Mm -hmm. And now we have a beautiful Bob Jones Park. Mm -hmm. Over the years, his family uh, sold land to us. Mm -hmm. And we were able to put together a beautiful park. We're in the process of um, really fixing up the entrance to that park with a gorgeous yeah. uh, statue of Bob Jones oh, yeah. and, a, and a historical yeah. plaque to tell, the, to tell his story. Mm -hmm. This morning, I was just in, um, Frank Cornish Park. Frank Cornish, of course, played uh, for the Dallas Cowboys, two Super Bowl rings, wow. but he also was the chairman of our parks board in South Lake. Uh, cool. And we have a beautiful oh, wow. park named after him. And the history, you know, it's so interesting. We're getting ready. We just approved a new piece of art um, to go on some property that was an old airplane field back yeah. in the old days. Oh, so really? if you imagine where Town Square is, planes used to come over the old Town Square and land in the oh, field wow. across the street. Really? Yeah. So we're oh, in the process. With the big fountain, the field out Yes, oh, yeah. Wow. So we're in the process of doing a new piece of art that kind of that speaks to flight, you yeah. know, oh, speaks cool. to the early oh, days. And of course, gosh, Bonnie and Clyde had a shootout yeah. yeah. where the Verizon building is on mm -hmm. North 114. We have the Very old Parker, her mom and dad's old Parker home uh -huh. is... Um, Bonnie's. Yes, Bonnie Parker. Her parents. Her parents lived right north of on Dove Road. Mm -hmm. And that... that uh, the home isn't there anymore, of course, but I heard the old well is still there, right. and I heard there might be money down you, you there. You have no so. idea. You got to check it out. So, <laughs> yeah, got to move to South Lake Catons before you're allowed to look. So, <laughs> yeah. that's the rules. But <laughs> well, if you see Lonesome Dove, yeah. so much of that happened yes. right there in what is now South Lake in the old Lonesome Dove Church, and mm -hmm. it's really fascinating. My mom's gonna love that. That's know, her favorite right? movie. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. Um, and so we were chatting a little bit yesterday and uh, you were saying that kind of residentially South Lake's what, 87 plus percent oh, yeah, built yeah. out. So it's, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty done as far as residences go, but there is still some commercial development along 114 corridor. Yeah. Um, but what I was fascinated by is that you guys have that planned out to 2035, is right. that what you said? Well, so, yeah, I right. mean, just the planning that goes into the city mm -hmm. is really kind of unmatched, it seems, that you guys have, have really thought through everything on, on what the city's gonna look like long after you know you're the mayor so oh, it, that's that's a really cool yeah. way and i'm approving that. my council's approving things now that past mayors mm -hmm. put into the strategic plan um, yeah. when they were looking at the year 2020 and it seems so far away mm -hmm. well, you know, now we're 2020 
2021. Yeah. So yes, um, what you what you see is what's available in South Lake, and it's mm -hmm. not much. It's that mm -hmm. 114 corridor where we have large parcels of land. We recently had TD Ameritrade. Mm -hmm. We had Verispace take over um, mm -hmm. one of the buildings in Solana. And a lot of people don't realize part of Solana is in West Lake, and part of Solana is actually in yeah. South Lake. So um, really, that's all we have left as far as residential property. It's those very odd pieces mm -hmm. that were never developed for a reason. Right. So everything that we're looking at now is complicated. Right. right. It's complicated. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you were saying that a lot of parceling is going on. A lot of right. parceling. That's kind of the right. only way that new construction can really come in at this mm -hmm. point. Right. Yeah. Knocking down, we're seeing some older homes on mm -hmm. larger pieces of property being knocked down and maybe two homes being put on mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. acres or it's it's we've been very lucky because um the density is so low in South Lake. People right. really value mm -hmm. the large properties, the large, you know, the lots. neighborhoods with lots yeah. of open space, mm -hmm. and they really value that land. And we've kept to that plan. That yes. was a long time in um, uh, looking forward to where we want to be. That was always part mm -hmm. of that plan. I love that. I love it. It's so many. It's pocket neighborhoods. Yes. Like you were speaking to yes. with kind of having that close community and knowing that the pocket neighborhoods, like it's one or two streets and they're connected, you know? Right. And just thinking about the city planning it that way so that it would create a sense of community for those people is, I don't know, I feel like that's just such a fun fun thing to know. Yeah, really. Um, each, each neighborhood has its own identity. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. But it also has the totally. benefit of, like I said, the parks and the open mm -hmm. space and the prioritizing. Some have community yeah. pools, some are master plan communities, yeah. some are just smaller one in and one out. Mm -hmm. So it's easy for you when you're looking for a new home to find something that really yeah. suits your family. It, it, it isn't just about big houses. Mm -hmm. It's totally. about pulling into a neighborhood and going, wow, the trees, the setbacks, the mm -hmm. park, yeah. This, the fountain at the entrance yes. way. This yeah. makes me feel like this is home. Yes. Yeah, I love that. I mean, I, just driving into really any neighborhood in South Lake, you just see a ton of kids playing at the park uh -huh. in the front. And, it's you know, so as we're active. driving, of course, our kiddos are, I want to stop there. I want to stop there. Uh -huh. You know, like I want to go to every single park. Yeah. And and every single day, we it feels like we could go to a new park, which is just so fun for them. Yeah. So they get to keep trying stuff, new stuff in South yeah. Lake. It's great. It's really, a, it's really a compliment to the citizens because for years they've wanted parks and they pride prioritize oh. not just athletic parks but also mm -hmm. yeah. open spaces where you can throw the ball yeah. and kick the mm -hmm. soccer ball and of course bicentennial park right in the middle of the yeah. city mm -hmm. with the tennis facility with the amazing. huge dragon for uh -huh. the children <laughs> yeah. to climb on for baseball uh -huh. and the new champions club and of course mm -hmm. our new rec center it's just a, again a real family centric mm -hmm. um, community that's so close to the airport that it's ideal for so many families yes. that either like to travel or maybe work out of town mm -hmm. right. and need to be really close to the airport but it's a lifestyle that you generally don't even know you're near the airport yeah oh, no yeah. you don't yeah, you really mm -hmm. don't but I also want to speak to the fact that it's so most people come there I think if they don't know for the schools or the family aspect, but then people stay yes, because they fall in love with it, right? right? So right. It's, it's definitely like a, a forever kind of place. You mm -hmm. bring your kids, they get through school, but you're like, I'm, I love it, I'm staying. <laughs> well, we always say people come for the school district and then they stay for all the city amenities, right? Yeah. And all the fun. <laughs> right. And you know, I was telling you yesterday, I came with a brand new baby uh -huh. and now everyone is graduated. Uh -huh. And the one thing the kids always say to me is, mom, you're never selling the house, are you? So <laughs> yeah. I think, but, but it's home, yeah. right? It's home right. and, and mm -hmm. to me, it's where else would I be? Right. And it's kind of ironic that that's where my mom and dad settled years ago. Yeah. I mean, I didn't live in South Lake. I was already grown and yeah. married when my parents moved to South Lake, but they got that sense of it uh -huh. too, mm -hmm. even though they never had children in yeah. the school district. They just came as, you know, as older, older folks and mm -hmm. said, you know, we're looking for a great home and a great neighborhood yep. that's safe, incredibly yeah. safe, incredibly and safe. has good shopping, quality of life, mm -hmm. and they loved yeah. it. Oh. So no, I love it. I know, right? <laughs> me, me too. Me yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> too. Yeah. So the one question we get when people find out that we're realtors, everyone wants to know how's the market. Mm. So when First people find time. out that you're the mayor, it's like what is that? What is that question that you get? I guess you, what, maybe from a citizen of South Lake, and then from somebody that doesn't live in South Lake. What is, what's the question oh, that you get? Oh gosh. Um, well, I have a I have a series of people that ask me a lot of the questions I get are from kids. 
Yeah. Really? The kids think being mayor is the coolest thing in the world. Uh, of course. Want to know, do I have a limousine that drives me everywhere? So <laughs> right. I'm like, no, I don't have a limousine. Um, most of the people in South Lake ask me, is the job as hard as it looks? Uh -huh. Okay. And uh -huh. I really appreciate that question sure. because it's always followed by a thank you for everything you oh, do. Yeah. It seems like a really hard job. And um, the other question people in South Lake ask me is, do you love being mayor? You yeah. seem like you love being mayor. Yeah. You mm -hmm. love being mayor. Uh -huh. I love that question. Mm -hmm. People outside of South Lake are, tell me about South Lake. Everywhere I go, I hear about South Lake. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What makes South Lake so special? Yeah. And I love, of course, love yeah. Yeah. answering that question. Yeah. And I do want to point out, this is an unpaid position. Right. Oh, it's the gosh. mayor. So you <laughs> yes. have to love it. That's a yes. thing. I think otherwise it. you would be absolutely insane yeah. if you did not love what you do. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, no, we, we really do appreciate yeah. all that you've it's done. It's the, for the ultimate um, volunteer job. It really, yeah. it really is. And um, but I'm but I'm honored. You know, it's yeah. uh, people put a lot of confidence and trust into you and mm -hmm. they um, expect a lot and the people i mean the people that live in south lake are successful people and yeah. there are people that um, could have lived anywhere most of them and chose south lake mm -hmm. to your point mm -hmm. because of the school district first mm -hmm. and then the south lake amenities that they come right. to love and expect so yeah. everyone has high standards i have high standards yeah. for myself and the citizens have high standards that. for the community really and that's important. That about it yeah that's why it's so great that's why it's stayed that way for so yeah, long too it really yeah and it, and it won't change and that's the nice mm -hmm. thing is i look back at the mayor's prior to me and they all did a great job when they were mayor it was like yes. the perfect person at the perfect time yeah for the community yeah. and we just keep electing well we have we have a lot of great people to choose from so yeah. when people step up to run it's usually a, a great person who right. takes over the job yeah 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 i love that that's so cool Oh, should yeah. we just talk all day? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just keep I, I hanging thought, out. I don't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, if anybody out there wants to uh, connect with Mayor Laura Hill mm -hmm. of South Lake, um, we've got her contact information right here. That's her email that she has freely given out to us. Um, she's also on social media. Um, I highly encourage you to follow her on Instagram. Um, it's at Laura Hill? Yes, so um, Instagram is Laura Downey Hill because okay. it's my my maiden name, mm -hmm. and, but the best is Facebook, Facebook. at Mayor Laura Hill, and yeah. you can find me there. Yeah, yeah. very exciting. Thank you so yeah. much for oh, coming on. Well, so coming Thanks for, for having sure. me, but yeah. more importantly, thank you for moving to South Lake. Uh, oh, I know, right? <laughs> oh, we're excited, yeah. We love it we're already. Happy to have you. <laughs> All right. Well, if uh, you guys found this helpful or you um, are thinking about moving to South Lake or you know somebody that is, please share this with them. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, we'll keep bringing you awesome guests like Mayor Laura Hill. Yay. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.